Hi, I'm Dr. Kim McDonald, physical therapist, and I wanted to share with you some information about something I'm seeing a lot of in the clinic recently, and that is neck pain. I know that most of us have to be on technology quite a lot more these days, and that means a lot more looking down. That sustained looking down creates quite a bit of stress for one muscle in particular, and that's the traps. When the traps are out of balance, it usually means neck pain. So let's take a look about not only how that happens, but more importantly, what you can do about it. The traps or trapezius is a large diamond-shaped muscle that starts at the back of the skull, goes down across the shoulders, and then down to a point at the mid-back. Most of us are only familiar with this muscle when we have neck and shoulder soreness. We reach back to rub the top of our shoulders only to find tightness and pain. The trapezius becomes particularly stressed when we sit at the computer, the desk, or hunched over a cell phone for an extended period of time. The first thing that you want to do is make sure that your desk or workstation is set up to reduce this stress. You can check out my video on proper desk setup and I have added the link to that below. Overall, the trapezius muscle does a lot of work and plays a critical role in neck health. The muscle is actually made up of three sets of fibers, the upper fibers, middle fibers, and lower fibers. Each group is responsible for different movement and function. All of the play fibers play some role in bringing the shoulder blades together as if you were pulling your shoulders back to stand as it, at attention, as well as to rotate your shoulder blades upwardly. However, how they do that is what is very important to distinguish. The upper trapezius is shown in red. It starts at the back of your skull. It runs down along the top of each shoulder. This is the portion of the muscle that feels tight and sore when you have a stiff neck. It is also the area that you are looking for someone to massage when your neck begins to ache. The role of the upper traps are to help to retract or pull the shoulder blades together in the back and rotate them upwardly as we talked about, along with the other fibers. However, their main function is to draw your shoulders up towards your ears as if you were shrugging. In most people and all with neck pain, these fibers are extremely overactive and can work in overdrive most of the time. When they are extremely overused, your shoulders remain in a pulled up position and will actually lose the ability to pull the shoulder blades back. This constant state of activation, pulling your shoulders up, causes the tension, stiffness, and pain that most people experience in their neck. The second set of fibers are the middle traps and these are shown in yellow. These fibers are nearly horizontal from the tip of the back of the shoulder blades towards the center of the upper spine. Their job is to fully pull the shoulder blades together and back and upwards and play a significant role in whether you have good posture or not. When we sit, particularly on technology for long periods of time, it causes the rounding of the shoulders due to the leaning forward. This causes the shoulder blades to pull apart and putting the middle traps on a stretch. When the middle traps remain on a stretch like this, they weaken. The weaker they get, the harder it is to remain in good posture and the farther your head falls out in front of you. The third group of fibers are the lower traps and these are shown here in blue. These fiber, fibers start on the shoulder blade and travel down on an angle towards the center of the mid spine. Along with the other fibers, they also pull the shoulder blades together and rotate them upward. However, they play a very important role in pulling the shoulder blades down. Although all three sets of fibers work together to help you maintain good posture, the upper and the lower fibers counteract each other so that the shoulder blades can stay in good balance in the up and down plane, while the middle traps help to keep the shoulder blades centered. If all three sets of the traps are in good balance, then life is good. However, more often than not, the upper traps are hyperactive, causing the shoulders to pull up and the middle and the lower traps are weakened and unable to counteract the force of the pull of the upper fibers. This causes a hiked up rounded shoulder and forward head position. And as I said, this contributes to pain. So what can you do? Well, getting massages to the upper trap sounds like a fantastic idea and can be helpful. However, this is not a long-term fix. You have to strengthen the middle and the lower fibers in order to regain balance of the entire muscle. There are several ways to do this, but I'm going to give you two of my favorites. First, though, I recommend loosening up the area before you start your two exercises. A great stretch for this is the open book stretch. You are going to start by lying on your right side with your knees bent up towards your chest and arms stretched out in front of you. 
you bring your left arm up and over to the other side while looking with your head to the left. Ideally, you want your shoulders to be flat. However, if you have tightness and cannot go all the way over, you could put a pillow under your left arm to rest it on. Hold each stretch for 30 seconds while breathing, do not hold your breath, and then return to the start position. Repeat three times and then flip over to do the same on the other side. Great, now that you are loosened up, we can start on the strength exercises. The first exercise is for the middle traps and you will lie on the bed with your right arm dangling off. You're going to keep your elbow straight and turn your thumb away from the bed. Maintain this position and raise your arm up and out to the side until it is parallel to the floor and then slowly lower it down. You will repeat this slowly and with control for 12 repetitions and you will do this on each arm. The second exercise is for the lower traps, and you will be sitting at the dining room table or a desk. Roll up a towel and place your forehead on the towel. Extend your arms out over your head with your thumbs pointing upward. Keeping your arms straight and your head very heavy on the towel, raise your right arm off of the table about two to three inches and hold for three seconds, then slowly lower down. Repeat this with the left hand. You will do 12 repetitions with each arm. Some important things to remember, do not let your shoulders hike up towards your ears. You want to be sure that you are pulling them down and holding them down while raising your arms up in either of the exercises. If you find this to be difficult, reset your position between each repetition to pull your shoulders down. Start with one set of 12 repetitions and progress to two sets of 12 as you are able. These two exercises are a great way to strengthen the middle and the lower trapezius, which in turn significantly improves the support around your neck. This will go not only a long way to reduce your neck pain and stiffness, but can also help to improve your overall posture as well. Give these a shot and share them with anyone you know who may ask you to rub their neck. If you're interested in more information on how you can relieve your pain and improve your health and wellness, visit www.crimsontherapies.com. You can visit my blog or enroll in one of my courses to give you a step-by-step -step program to help your situation. Thanks for watching and stay well.